Angle that, get that out of the way, and do this. There we go. Okay. I've had I had to work six days last week, so this is my only day off, and I have been so fucking lazy today. It's actually astonishing. I just put my laundry in about ten minutes ago. That's not that's not the controller. This is. Okay. Um, I had to make a whole fuck ton of shit because somebody. Of course, it was all these fucking people. They all got fucking sick. Fatigue. Headache. Headache. Fatigue. Fatigue. Cold. Fatigue. 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 Okay, so a couple headaches. Where's my, where's my desk? A donut. Oh my God. So we had to go to my city's like farmer's market just to try and advertise our product and stuff. They... The manager that's in charge of us now um, went with one of our staff and he brought back donuts that were made by the Amish community. <laughs> Pink Bunny, I can't. Pacifist run first. Maybe we'll come back and we'll just descend into chaos. I will be the new god. My stupid chair has like a rip in it and my the way I sit, my feet keep getting stuck in it. I'm going to break a toe. Okay, more... Fatigue. You can never have too many. I had a cold, right? Not sepsis. Anemia. Nope. I got my one more cold. And I think I had two for a headache. Well, fuck it. We can make one more. Why not? Neuralgia. Okay. Um. Surprisingly, it's like I didn't even... Oh, it's because I think I made that last night. Do I have anything else I can do? Not particularly. Okay, so I do actually have to go to the West End, so this is actually kind of beneficial to me. Donk. Uh, the question is how... Uh, the theater. Right, we're actually going to bypass the theater, though, and we're just going to scooch right across. I just always seem to forget how to get to the West End. I don't know why I struggle so much with this. Okay. So well, I guess we'll just follow the old cursor here. Do I usually go this way? I don't feel like I usually go this way. I feel like this way is new to me. Did you? Okay. I'm less worried now. Oh, wait. That's me. Eat. I know Finsbury Gate is serious. I'm trying to make my way to where I need to go. Also, so I don't know if you guys were here. I accidentally had a, an inability to read. <laughs> Fucking bless. Yeah, so I had an inability to read. Mr. Rabbits, oh my god, we still vamping. We all, we still be vamping. Um, it's the pacifist run, I think, complicates a lot of stuff because I can't just go willy-nilly and upgrade i need to i need to scavenge for the xp i mean no that's just me being me okay i can do this i can figure this shit out i know where i'm going right past so isn't it true then that these individuals they do this every time should leave me the f alone because I am good boy. Because if I think I go... No, I can... Is this, a, this is a shortcut, isn't it? Can I make it a shortcut? Jonathan, let's check this out. Yeah, I have to, I have to do the extra stuff and I have to continuously micromanage my um, districts because I accidentally killed Dorothy. Which is also part of the problem, but also because when I when the pacifist run is what I am doing, um, I unfortunately can't kill anybody. So if you look at my peoples here, this is a bad district to look at. We'll look at a good district. So like I can get twenty six XP if I kill her like right away. Clay's not worth shit. Mortimer's not worth shit. Not even Harvey. I like him. I would kill him. Oh, Thelma. 
Even Rakesh. I'd kill Rakesh. I fucked up on one of his things. I can't kill these guys, though. They're my favorites. I love them so. Yeah, so I gotta... Piopples. I gotta... Yeah, I gotta... Gotta watch out for my Piopples here. Okay, this looks... Kind of right. Except, like I said, I, I'm not actually... I can't do her quest right now because I need to... Yeah, see, I feel like these guys should leave me alone. I already beat McCallum, so... And I spared him. I spared him mercy. So these guys should fuck right off and leave me alone. Anyway, so last night what had happened was I was an idiot. And uh, I accidentally couldn't read. So I accidentally... I... Yes, it was, but also I went in because it was like 12.30 and I was like, shit, I'm going to fucking die. And I was like, okay, let's just get my shit together. Let's kind of get the lay of the land. So tomorrow when we go back and fight him, uh, we'll just like, we'll have an idea of what to do. And then I beat him and I was like, oh, okay, well, where did you put Ned Wynn? <laughs> so that was fun. And then I spared him because I'm a better man than he is. And I want him to live with the consequences of not being able to defeat me. That's going to be the most embarrassing thing for him. It's not turning him into the thing that he hates. It's knowing the fact that I beat him. But anyway, so I accidentally reset everything. Because you know when it's like confirm or reset? I accidentally read that as rest. <laughs> don't ask me how. I don't know. And then reset all my progress. So it was just fucking... Do I want to go this way? I do actually. I do want to go this way. Yeah, so I basically got as close as I could, but I forgot this I forgot to upgrade my stamina. Derpy. I know, right? I can't read. My reading is such a struggle. Um so I accidentally didn't upgrade my stamina one extra time. So that was a fucking nightmare. Uh and then I think I upgraded my blood capacity one extra time when I wanted to hold off but now we're banking no we're saving for we're saving for the claws I want them claws all right anyway um and then somehow I accidentally leveled myself up an extra one Turn around. Turn around, I am not a sir but thank you for oh I said go back okay sure whatever you say I'm kind of mad right now oh I really didn't do is I really didn't do it. Is that a priest? Oh, that's a priest. How about we absolutely the fuck? Whoop! We don't do that. You die. That's oh, it's a fucker. Here he comes, motherfucker. Oh lord, he coming. Anyway, just gotta make my way downtown. Oh yeah, he doesn't care. I don't care. I'm done. I gotta go, and like just absolutely heal this entire. And then the game crashed on me last night, too. So every time it, it stutters, I'm like, huh? huh? Anyway, how are all y'all tonight? How you doing? I feel like, hang on, give me, a, give me a hot second here. Put this here so that doesn't. There, that might be a touch better, actually. Today was a tough day, tell me about it. Why is it a tough day today? Okay, where do I live? Uh, who is ill in my household? My mother again. Jesus Christ, mother. Get with the fucking program. Get better. Get well. You're sick, aren't you? You got a fucking headache, you dipshit. Yeah, it's because you're spouting all this bullshit. That's why you have a headache. Good evening, old chap. Are you alright? Well, I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Mm -hmm. Have you um, any news about Aloysius Dawson? Oh, messy family crap. I hate that. Search. I'm so sorry. But I heard he's given all his money to the sick and What's poor. What's wrong with that? Why is that bad? Okay, I've got all the hints there. There's still two. Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? Ms. Rowe is derpy. Hours, Bunny, you? how was your days? Yeah, take the medicine, you shithead. What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. What fucking other... What other habits... You need some rest. What I have. Is it because I eat rats? Don't judge me for that. 
I'm gonna go see your hot wife. If I can remember where she is. <laughs> I think I fucked up again. Yeah, I always do this. I always go straight through and she's actually, uh, she's gently to the, uh, on this side here. Yeah, she's on this side. Ooh, a hike. Oh, it's so nice. Was it a nice day? Like, we're having not too too much heat here right now, so it was actually a beautiful day today. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello Jonathan. Please come in. Thank you. I shall. Great walk. I feared the worst. I just want to know what you think of your husband. I can't do anything. What do you need from me, John? Everything. Have you any recent news of Aloysius Dawson? Pretty much perfect. Oh, I'm so jealous. I don't know where to go hiking here. I wish he'd thought about sending some to his closest neighbors. Are you that pressed for money? See, I can't do anything. Do you need my medical attention? It would appear that old habits die hard, my dear. I would appreciate your help as always. Sure, you may have the medicine. And I'm happy to give it to you, as always. Thank you, Jonathan. No problem. I would have a headache too if I was married to your husband, but oh my god, I have to share I have to share this story with you. Um well she's been dead for a couple chapters now, so it's fine. Um so I guess my dad was out shopping today. What love is? I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head now. And um Apparently there was a, like a mega steal on a Dyson and like I guess he was humming and hawing and um, this man was in I guess the same aisle as he was and he was basically like oh he's like if you pass that up your wife's going to be really mad at you I remember and I was like wait what? So here, here's the thing you need to understand do you live in the house with your wife? Then you also vacuum. None of this nonsense of, oh, your wife is going to be really, really disappointed if you don't take that. What does that even mean? <laughs> anyway, my mom's like, it doesn't matter. I'm like, what do you, she's like, would you let me finish the story? I'm like, no, I'm mad. What the fuck do you mean? Jesus Christ. I say. Okay, who else is on this side? I got to find, I just cured him though. I gotta grab everybody on that's on this side and then uh, everybody that will be on the other side in Temple Garden. Just great. Just great. I also have two more days to work before... Uh, oh, I live over here. Are you ill, Louise? I wasn't paying attention to you. I am so sorry. She's not. She, uh, she does ask the real questions, though. Yes. She's concerned. Um... And then my coworker comes back, and she's only been gone technically for four days, like last Thursday, last Friday, tomorrow, and Tuesday. All I have to say is the children are exhausting. This place is exhausting. I had to work Saturday because we had no staff available, and working Saturday literally reminded me of every single thing I hate about Saturdays. The lucky lose. The fact that this man got into like nearly a verbal altercation with me over uh, beer. I broke a glass of beer in it. Um, everybody was like, are you doing chores? No, not yet. Well, why not? We're Hello in stage again. three. Everything Jonathan, else is open. Back already. Good. Uh, right. Do you need my medical but attention? we haven't been oh, given permission to do that. You know what? So no. I think you should take this. And then stare at you me like I'm going to say, I'm like, oh, sure. just kidding, just for you. I'll ever feel better. Are you kidding me? Thank I get thank chased you. out of the brewery. Goodbye, mother. So, Try for it. and then uh, Goodbye, Tuesday son. morning. So Monday night might be a bit of a shorter stream because I'm being an absolute fucking idiot and I'm going to the gym for 6 a.m. so I can work out before I go into work and not after work. So pray for my fucking soul because I'm going to need it. Okay, where is Mr. Kimura hangout? I think he's over here. No, yeah, 6 a.m. So I gotta be up at five. I mean, technically I could sleep until like 5.30, but I gotta take Roman for a walk first. Okay, where do I find this guy? Oh, are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? You are definitely not. Not good boys. 
Why are you so close to this side of town? You've never come this close to this side of town before. And then Wednesday all will be well because I can go back to working out at like 9.30 again, which is fabulous. My preferred workout time. I just have zero energy by the time I'm finished work, so I usually don't work out in the evening, just based on my schedule. Where the hell is this guy? I always lose him. He was by a truck last time, but I don't remember where that was. All right, Charlotte, we got you. Oh, that's that's Chauncey Clarence. So, yeah, it's just been, it has just been a wild ride, my guys. This is like four days, and I'm so, the, um, the gal that is uh, very, very obsessed with hygiene um, questioned uh, how, because I was trying to grab glasses fast, because it doesn't matter anyway, she... There he is. I told you he was near somewhere. Um, and then she's like, well, why don't you Good wash evening. your hands after you touch Good people's evening, glasses? Dr. And I'm Reed. like, why the fuck do you wash your hands five times in one wash? But here we are. Have you heard of Aloysius Dawson? Oh, I hate, don't get me wrong. If I could sleep until like 10 a.m., I would. But I, uh, now that's I can't, unfortunately. That was one of the reasons why we pulled, uh, we call it a hand washer. Sorry. We pulled her off of the market because she uh, complained that she wouldn't be able to get up to work, to be at work for 5.30, and I was like, what the fuck? Do you need medical assistance? <laughs> Don't believe that I'm the kind anyway, of so she fucked up majorly on Thursday night, and I had to talk to my new boss about what the issue was, even though he didn't also really understand the system because no he's still new be as well, and he's like... When yeah, I have to talk to her, I'm like, yeah, and I'm sorry that what I'm yes, saying no. makes sense in my head, but I know now life is as precious not as it is fragile. verbally. She basically refunded a customer Goodbye, twice Mr. for a keg, which uh, is a big no-no because he only brought back one. And because this so customer much. purchased his keg online, there's no way for us to reverse that charge. Even someone you're close to. It's me. I am, I am the vampire. That is true. I am always around you. Charlotte's got to take a cigarette. I know. But the worst part is, so, so like, our newbie was like, but I already did it on the phone. And I was like, so why did she do it again? And he's like, I don't know. But she, she did. So I texted her. And I was, because we had another pickup that I finally converted to pickup. It, we've been working on this guy forever. And I finally got him. And um, he's like, I'm going to bring back two kegs. And I was like, perfect. Uh, if you're coming, I'll be here. I'll refund it like instantaneously. I just need to see the kegs, even though I trust you. The, guy, the fucking guy never came. So I told the, the hand washer, I was like, okay, this is what you need to do. You need to refund him. Okay, so you need to do it online and on the till. Do you know how to do that? You're sure you don't want me to go over anything with you? Nope. It's okay. I know how to do it. Okay. All right. If you have any problems, text me. So I noticed when I came in on uh, Friday that nothing had been done with that one customer's order. And I was like, well, that's kind of strange. What's going on? So I sent her a text. She's like, it should be there with the receipt. And I was like... Okay, so either you're lying to me, you've done it on the POS only and not, like, online. Is he back? Is this motherfucker? Oh. oh, yeah, he is. Okay, I have Shadow on, though, don't I? I do. Finally, I've done something right. Here's the best thing about our, our fucking werewolf boys now. They huck uh, chunks at us. He's a chunky boy. Yeah, so basically I pulled up the order. There's nothing there. And I was like, are you sure you've done this? And she's like, yeah, the receipt's there. And I'm like, okay. So I check the second CAG order. Pull up the order online. And that's when I find out that she done fucked up. And I was like, I'm going to have, like, I'm going to have like a moment of just rage. So the kid came in and he's like, well, like I tried to tell her that I had already done it. And I was like, well, I don't understand why when she pulled up the order on the, like the computer that she wouldn't have already seen the $50 credit applied. And that would have just like, kind of, I got to stop. You know what I mean? It didn't. She proceeded, plowed right through. (laughs) 
Anyway, so now the customer is disputing the secondary refund because he doesn't see it on his statement. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm looking that you only paid seventy nine ninety nine, right? Like, oh boy, instead of the much more exorbitant price, I'm going to have to deal with this guy. I was trying to think of my my outward ways, but I think every single way is just fucked. And he's very powerful. Oh, God. Goddamn son. Oh, goddamn son. Yeah, they do this now. They do this now. Fucking do it. I, oh, he went right through. He phased through. Can do it. Jonathan. Don't you fucking huck shit at me, sir. Yeah. Don't you fucking do it. Get out of here. No. Don't you do it. It's a big boy. That was a chunky boy. So, like, are they dogs or are they not, you know? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that's really great. Good job. That really doesn't do much, eh? What the fucking shit, my guy? There we go. Oh, he dead now. Oh god, does he boom? He died so beautifully. Look at him. So perfect. So beautiful. Anyway, so I get to work with her tomorrow, and you guys know. And I had to work with her on Saturday. <laughs> oh my god. I was just like, I can't do this. I need to, I need to sit down. I was already in a super bad mood on Saturday anyway, and I was... Why, Jonathan, why did you do that? Take, put that away! Fix that up there. We golden. Lovely. Okay, I gotta go... Why are we doing this, you may wonder? It's because literally everybody in this fucking entire place is ill. Such a... Yeah, like, that is a pose deserving of an Oscar. Okay, I need to figure out what the hell's going on with these two. I don't trust them. The daughter's in the basement, but I can't get in the basement. But something is not right. In your... You've got... Oh. Oh, I thought I could look at her for a second. I, I got really excited. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. <laughs> no. Do you need my... I don't... There's something... The more oh, I yes, talk I to her... The more I'm like, mm, I'm I don't just like doing that. My job. Perhaps, but I have always been grateful for your concern. You know. Of course. What have you heard about Aloysius Dawson? What is your opinion of Aloysius Dawson? Rumor is he gave most of his fortune to charities to help the poor and sick. He was a good man after all. Right, right, right. God, look at all these hints that I do not have. Goodbye for now, Miss Price. Right. Can you tell me how to get down there? I need to get down there. Why won't you let me down there? She's right there. Madame. Madame. I need to know the secret. Where's this asshole? Is he sick? No, he's fine. One of you has a cold. Is it Pericles or is it Agamemnon? These guys. Has Hello anybody again, ever Dr. read the play Green. Waiting for Godot? Have you any recent news of Aloysius Dawson? I try not to listen to gossip or rumors. 
Unlike my brother, I am only interested in We facts. should always be interested in facts. Do you need my medical attention, sir? Indeed. I... You have nothing to be worried about. It's a very should interesting play, them? and these two, I, so I swear to God, to represent. Disease. Like, they just strike me as the characters from Waiting for Godot. Yeah. Goodbye for now. It was a very weird play. They're just... They're waiting for someone before they can leave, but they don't know who it is. But they have to stay because they'll know him when they need him. And I'm like, that is, that is motherfucking waiting for Godot if ever I've goddamn seen it. Trash. Okay, where is the detective inspector who, uh... Oh! Oh! Well, how do I do this? Madame! Let me in. Let me in. Yes, yes, yes. Patience, patience, patience. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Be careful, Carol. You're wasting good food here. Yeah, yes, mother. I said be careful, child. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. Mommy has been so clumsy again. No, th that's okay. It, it won't bleed for long. You're so pale. Are you feeling sick? Do you need to see a doctor? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm fine. I, I already saw. Agamemnon and Pericles. I know. I love the names. Don't be silly. You must see a doctor. Just don't tell him how clumsy your mommy is. All right? I love you so much, my boy. Carolyn. I love you too, mother. How dare you hurt Carol, Cheryl? Bitch, get the fuck up here. I have some words. Yeah, Kara Lynn. Hmm. Just the lady I need to speak to. You won't believe. Dr. Reed, I am glad. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me. I'm gonna call you daughter. knife cutter. Do you often hurt Carolyn? Carol? Tell Cheryl? Me, Carolyn, do you often wound or hurt your daughter by mistake? No. I always thought it was Carol's clumsiness that caused these. Carol, issues. Cheryl? Maybe it's a family trait, Doctor. You really believe it's just bad <laughs> luck and being clumsy then? Of course, Doctor. I know, right? I should show her some, like, really messed up shit. But you abuse your daughter. You are responsible for your daughter's many injuries and scars, Carolyn. You brutalize her, don't you? How could I abuse my own flesh and blood? I just fucking saw you. This is Do I need to call CPS? It would be like hurting myself. You really believe you've done nothing wrong, don't you? How long has this been going on for? I should have seen it when you were my patients. Child abuse. Child abuse? Yes. Are you mad, Dr. Reed? I dedicated oh, she put the hands on the hips. She's precious. going full Karen. She is a part of me. Yes. Even her name is just a part of yours. It's Cheryl. We're going to call her Cheryl from now on. Something of an unknown disorder. My God. Abuse that comes from overwhelming love. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How dare you say something like Bitch, that? Bitch, I just... What well, kind of a monster do you think I, I am? We must talk about mental health. Speak to me, Carolyn. Why do you behave Because like she doesn't this? want anybody to leave her. How does it make you feel to hurt Carol before cajoling her? I... I don't know. It makes me feel good to take care of my daughter. I need to feel useful. No one ever takes care of me. I need someone to take care of me. Do you realize Carol is yeah. a Not a I know she is. So that's why I doll. call her Cheryl, because I... The poor girl also an Archer reference, but... Flame to please you. you are both trapped in this toxic relationship. Carol and I are perfectly happy. Leave us be. How stupid I was to believe you could be a suitable husband. <laughs> You're a threat to Carol. Cheryl. You're a victim too, or you're a threat to Carol, or 
Ah, oh, they're all so great. <laughs> You're not my supervisor! Wait, who is my supervisor? Oh my god, I love her so much. I don't know what we're going to do now that Jessica Walter is no longer with us because she was Mallory. I am so sad. You look like an idiot. Or a whore. Yes. A whore idiot. Probably the, my favorite line that ever has graced her mouth. Um, what do you think, guys? What are we choosing? I want to yell them all at her. All of them. Probably a threat. You're a threat to Carol. And no child should feel unsafe in the presence of their parents. No, Dr. Reed. You are the threat. You are threatening to separate a mother from her only daughter, from the meaning of her life. Ma'am, you have an unhealthy relationship. It's time to stop. And that's it, eh? That's all I can do. Yeah. That devolved so fast. Goodbye for now, Miss Price. I'm still gonna trade stuff with you. Where is sweet little Cheryl Carol? Is she down there still? Oh, now you want me to stay, huh? Bitch, please get the fuck out of here. I will see her. As soon as I'm done. Ah, there you are, you little bastard. Doctor Reed. Yeah, still doing. Did you hear about Aloysius Dawson? Have you recent news of Aloysius Dawson? Come on. The most ruthless tycoon of England dies and gives his fortune to You're the welcome. poor. The man has been tricked. I suspect torture and murder no, here. No, just my charming personality. What are you investing? Well, I was lucky. Why okay, I so then why does that one not go away? Do you need medical? I'm afraid I may have caught something. Mm. Who does he remind me of? He reminds well. me of somebody, but I don't know who. You'll quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I really appreciate it. Goodbye. He's not terribly. He's just out wandering around, Goodbye. doing what he is doing and so forth. <gasps> is she up on the floor now? Yes, she is. Sweet Cheryl Carol, we got to talk. My dear. Good evening. I don't care about you. My mother always prefers when people simply call me Cheryl. Carol. <clears throat> Did you hear about Aloysius? I suspect you've heard what has happened to Aloysius Dawson. No, what happened to him? I don't read newspapers. A a mother always told me it's a bad thing to listen to gossip. Jesus. You poor thing. Is it true you often hurt yourself? Is it true you often hurt I know, right? Yourself? Like it's... Yes, it's true. I try to behave. I really do. But one way or another, I always end up injured or wounded. I'm so stupid. Why would you be stupid? It's like I can't help getting under my mother's feet. That's how I end up being pushed, or cut, or, or burned. You see, I'm a stupid girl, really. When exactly yeah, when did, did these happen there? Happen? Ever since I was little. That's why I need to stay with mum. A boy's best friend. I'm not capable of mother. taking care of myself. I think your mother is a threat to you. You need to understand you are in danger, Carol. Your mother is responsible for all You your didn't even injuries. clean it properly, though. That's, That's being stupid. She has always taken good care of me. She only gets irritated I know, right? when I get under her feet. It's my fault. My mum loves me so it's much. It's a little smothering. Yes, Carol. Your mother believes she loves you as much as you're convinced she loves you. But you are both trapped in a toxic relationship a little, yeah. that puts you in danger. What are you saying? That she lied to me all these yes. years? That she wants me to be miserable? Yes. My mother has dedicated her life to my All mothers do. Um. Your mother is sick. Your mother is terribly sick, Carol. She suffers from one of the most sadistic attitudes I've ever encountered. And tortures you with a twisted sense of love. No. My mum loves me and only wants the best mm -hmm. for me. It's my fault if I can never do anything right. She deserves oh, a better pea. girl than me. Oh, sweet pea. What are we going to do with you? That's it. That's all. Goodbye, Carol. I hope you can stay a little I am sorry. I, I, I can't help you, sir. Perhaps you should talk with someone else. Yeah, the two of you were just fucked. You're just, y'all fucked. Like, goddamn, you fucked. Okay, did I get everybody? Whoops. Didn't run the wrong button. Okay. Um. Oh, no, I missed Calhoun. Oh, and they're both sick. 
That's okay. I actually have to go back anyway. They are contagious. Which one of you needs to be you? Nope. You. No! That was the wrong one. Hello again, Dr. Reed. I think he's fine. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Yeah, it's you I want to talk to. You are the one I need Good to evening, talk to. Mr. Baker. Hmm. Why? Can you hear about Aloysius Dawson? Have you any recent news of Aloysius Dawson? I've heard he's dead. I hope he found his twin brother. Wherever they are. That's so sweet. You knew Aloysius' twin brother? Yes. I think we were even together in the mm. Gemini Club for a time. A somewhat secret society that only accepts twins as members. That, yep, yeah, that is what do you need uh, my Gemini is. Yeah. No, okay. I'm afraid I do. I oh knew my we. God, don't start that bullshit. I don't want to appear tactless, says the doctor who also works outside. Because you people night. can't stay in but at always night. always the imprudent person enjoy. Yeah, I don't enjoy your Goodbye, company, though. Baby. You don't know what you're doing here. I think you're all a little lost in life. That's okay. We all are. Okay, so it should be just Calhoun now, right? What a powerful name. Yeah, so this district. So when I decided to convince my guy here to accept death peacefully, every single one of my districts was ill, even though I had just spent the time to, like, cure them, basically. And when he died... Everybody was sick, but everybody got cured. Which was crazy. And good, I guess. Like, that's that's good for me. And then uh, when I went to take a snooze for the, the next time and woke up, the, everybody in this district was sick. Like, look how many people. There's nobody in um, Whitechapel. There's nobody at the Pembroke. And there's nobody at the docks. Like, you fucking is crazy. I don't know what happened. It was like a weird glitch. Or maybe it was supposed to happen. I don't know. But let's go back and see Calhoun and get ourselves the fuck out of here. But also, I have to remember how to get in. Jonathan, why do you do that? You really scare me when you do that. Because I can't see the threat yet. That fucking asshole better not be back. His perfect, beautiful corpse is also no longer going to be there. This guy's corpse is, though. I'm going to walk right over it. Did he leave a goopy mess? He didn't even leave a goopy mess. Okay. Oh, buddy. This game terrifies me now when it does that. It's crashed just so many times. Not even a goop pile. No, that's kind of rude of him. And very inconsiderate. Whitechapel is never going to not be serious. And that just makes me sad. Okay, I live here. And then my friend... Calhoun is right over Yeah. Calhoun, my dude. How be ye? Good evening, Dr. Reed. They hate me so the much, I don't know night, why. Well, it's because I keep talking shit about it. Have you any news on Aloysius Dawson? I heard he died and gave all his money to Look at this man. Like, he's just so perfect. Now that's a good man. Mm. An example for us all to follow. It was my charming personality. Still the hidden part of that, eh? Do you need medical help? You would save my life, Dr. I'm not, well, I just cured you, like, Don't two worry. days ago, so... There is nothing serious to fear. I cannot imagine the pain these people must face, then. You have my gratitude, Doctor. This disease... Nearly ruined my appetite. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. Yeah. Don't get food poisoning, though. I can't really cure that. I want to see if she's going to ask the questions again. She... Fucking Louise came out here. Good evening, Miss Teasdale. Can I help you, Dr. Yeah, Reed? Yeah, I wish I could, like, tell... I wonder if she would do it again. Yeah, Please. okay. She came what out here. I asked her this question because all the these hints came out. The little fucker claimed he'd fallen in love Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. That he wanted to spend eternity with me. I hope it Not does it. Idea. At least that's the way it seemed at first. Really? Did you consider accepting his proposal? Well, immortality. Not a common wedding gift, is it? I think he just wanted to have his way with me. Can vampires even fuck, Doctor? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, well, I... I Fucking I, I really Louise! I love her. She's asked the most important question of the entire well, game. Uh, since they are creatures of blood, um, 
Physically speaking, I suppose <laughs> an erection is possible, but I... I mean, if you give me like a night, I got a girlfriend. We can figure it out, logistically speaking. I can get back to you with a field report. <laughs> oh my god. I started with that question and I was like, that's it. Done. Fucking Louise. What a treasure. So glad I saved your ass. Oh my god, you're the best thing that's come out of this. Okay. How the fuck do I get out of here? Uh, this way, I guess. But also, no, because that's not right. I have to go this way. Oh, where is it leading me? We, I mean, medically speaking, I should do this for science. Science must know. I also don't remember how to get to the theater. Like, I know how to get to the theater, but I don't remember how to get into the theater. You see my dilemma. And that's the door there. Also, apparently, the Ascalon Club no one no longer wants me to be a member. There is a tonal shift, so uh, that's not good. Just like these guys, I never feel like I'm caught up enough with these guys. Don't you fucking do it! Sorry, Sorry sir. No admittance. I'll admit myself if I want to, my good my good man. Uh, he's resistant to shadow, of course, which means let me just fucking flip this over here. And then I'll have a cool down. It's great. Um, so we're doing better. If I want to upgrade my claws, though, I think I need like three grand. Oh, uh, Karina. Love her, too. She's just great. I just love her, too. She's fantastic. Great job, Karina. Like, you're doing the Lord's work here. Um, isn't there a beastie over here, though? Not particularly, just my dude here. He's a fire executioner. Um, and then I think I can walk in the front door of the theater now, can't I? I killed her, so I feel like I should be able to do that. I own the theater now. I found, you know what? I found Doris to be harder than McCallum. Controversial opinion. Change my mind. <laughs> he hasn't noticed me yet. I wonder if I could. Yes, I can. Anyway, he hasn't noticed me. I wish I knew how to help her. Poor Karina. I know she doesn't want to feast on rats anymore. It's like she's kind of broken a bit. Uh -huh. Can you turn around? I'm just going to walk. Oh, good. Oh! Great. No problem. <laughs> Somebody got me on fire. You did, eh? You rat bastard. I did have a real... Yeah, Doris was uh, Doris was pretty bad. I did struggle with her a lot. I don't know what it was about McCallum. The light was an inconvenience that irritated me, but like that's obviously the point of it, so job well done, light. But, um... Yeah. Brawler and Gunner. He set me on fire. There we go. Enjoy. Delish. Love that. First of all, rude. Very powerful. I love when I miss. So great. I love when that happens. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh! 
I ran out of stamina. Ran out of stamina. There is never going to not be enough stamina. That's the problem, you see. That is the problem, isn't it? First of all, how dare you? That's very rude. Try again. What's happening? He doesn't care. He let me beat him. He got I stun locked him. He got confused. He didn't know where he was. Somebody come get her. Alright, so yes, let me walk in the front fucking door, right? I can just walk in the front fucking door. I should be able to do that. I own this now. That's what I thought you said. Great. Loading screen. Oh yeah, and then I accidentally picked up another quest in the fucking Pembroke, which was also confusing. Am I not going to have to fight anybody anymore, right? Because I was the good boy and McCallum should just fuck right off now. Thank you. Come again. I'm going to set this down here. Like, if we save Nedwin, what happens next? So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Great. So. What does that mean? I love this place, but what does that mean? That means that. That is what that means. Great. But why are they after me? When I beat him already. Oh, that's not good. If it's giving... If it's giving you a level three... I know, right? I love it. Can I get to him through here, though? I don't know. Like, I can see him. But now I can't. I'm just trying to remember the layout of this place. I don't think we were ever on the main floor, were we? Well, they're all gonna come out, aren't they? So which way do I go? The posters are just fantastic. I love that there's like just extra detail in that. Bluebird. Madam Butterfly. Doris Fletcher. Isn't that kind of racist? <laughs> Just asking for a friend. I think I gotta go in here, guys. Yeah, he's down there. 
Turn around, sir. Doesn't really do anything, eh? Get out of here. Let me do what I need to. Oh shit, I got stuck on the fucking thing. I got stuck on the thing. So much blood, and for me, it doesn't do any damage. The other guy's gone. Did you notice that? That get me. First of all, that's rude. Not dead yet. No, dead. <laughs> Why didn't he die? He did now. The other guy just left him. He's like, "Fuck this! I don't want that." He's like, "I don't, I don't have to do that." Yeah, there he is. He was just like, "Fuck this shit! I am out." Yeah, keep an eye on each other. He's down below. They're gonna be all up there, aren't they? Sorry, which one? Are, which one are you? I missed you. Where are you? I just had you. I just had you, sir. I don't want Edgar. I need you. What are you resistant to? What are you resistant to? I'm just trying to see what exactly it is that you were resistant to, my good sir. Fuck. I love this. I love when this happens. Love when that happens. You're almost dead though, aren't you? And got the wrong fucking guy. Stop it. Oh my god, how about you fuck right off, my dude? Okay, so he's resistant to shadow and blood. So what am I fucking stuck on? They're not impenetrable, Jonathan. Try again. Stop beating me with your stupid staff. They're very strong, these guys. Oh, fuck off. Oh my god, so powerful. So fucking powerful. Can you target on, Jonathan, please? There you go. Great job. Really proud of you. Where the hell did this guy? Hang on. Do I have rounds for the old shotgun? I think I do, but not a lot because I tried to use them on McCallum. Shit. Okay. Fucking shit. Got anything for me? What'd you get? 
grease. What do you got grease for? Okay, I'm sure it's not just as easy as walking in here. I stuck on the theater. Those things are impenetrable. That's why there's a reason why you don't go beyond the velvet rope. I see him. He's right there. Oh my god. Oh, I was like, this looks familiar. Yes, it does. <laughs> it should. Shotgun shells. I oh well, that door is locked. Do you guys have any secret literature here that I can have? There's a big boy down there. There's a big boy down there, but he's not resistant to blood. So that's what I'm going to use on him. No literature at all? You, ah. You guys suck. Just a solitary bullet. Nothing more. More bullets and a metal plate. Okay, well. Why does that feel like it's not a sentence? Investigate after Swansea kidnapping. backtracking <laughs> those trees are concrete trees no matter what anybody says I don't think I'm getting closer to him I think I'm just that's how I got out Doris's secret that's not a real door how the hell I gotta get down a level how the hell do I get down a level can't leave I need to find more stairs going down. I found stairs going up. What was that? Ah. Why do they have grease? Oh, isn't there a hole in the floor I should be finding? Madam Butterfly. Oh, no velvet rope here. I can hear it. I can hear them, but I can't see them. I guess we're going down here. Oh, well, we both get hit. That's fine. Okay, fucked up. I fucked up a little bit. Who the hell is he? Did you leave something for me? You did. That was kind of you. Grease. What am I going to do with all of this? Grease. Yeah, I know it's on a lower level, but I can't get down for whatever reason. Where's that hole in the floor? It's not real here. Thing is real here. Who am I? Are any of us real? I can hear you guys talking shit about me. The man who was dead. Doris Fletcher, Archer Noel, and Simon Bells. Okay. What the fucking hell? I know. He's... I, I know. He's downstairs. But like... Grease lightning. I have so much grease lightning. This isn't real, is it? No, because this is the fucking entrance way. That's what I fucking thought. I know he's down a level. I know. 
Did I miss a, like, did I exit stage left? Like, where the fuck am I going here? That door is locked. It's I locked. It's locked, Jonathan. Come on, you were a part of this. Got the levels up there. Fuck me. We just break through the floor. I'm sure we're strong enough. I'm sure we can do that. Oh, what is this? Thank you. Uh-huh. Two shillings. Watch out. This guy is fucking rich. Yeah. Right, I know, but like... I think I've spoken to everybody I can speak it to, is what I'm saying, game. You're not really... Oh, that was a rat. I hit X. Yeah, but like, who is this guy? Thirst for blood. Right, I know. I was just down here, though. Was I not? Because that leads me to the stage. Yes. There's not another door here, so I'm not really sure where I'm going. Instructions not clear. Where go? What door unlock? All doors locked. Except this. There's a stage room? Where the hell is the stage room? Oh, that's not, that's not it. The room I was just in? I cannot enter. Not that door doesn't exist. It's not the real door. I can hear you guys shouting down there. It's actually, it's actually fascinating. Tables and stuff. Is that one of those things that's not clear because I have to break them, but it doesn't look like you can break anything down there? Can I break you? No. Can I break you? I can break the barrels. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, I just finished reading Doris Fletcher's journal as painful and dreadful as it was. My God, the woman planned to see everyone in London afflicted by infecting all who would come to her next play. It helped me understand greatly what is going on. Doris Fletcher's real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of some Harriet Jones, what? Who <laughs> had been treated as a patient for a long time at the Pembroke Hospital. She clearly hated her mother but used her fame and notoriety to see her while visiting the poor and sick in the East End. I don't know exactly what happened then, but this is how her mother infected her before returning to the theater, and how she turned into that monstrosity that the leech known as Jonathan Reed finally defeated. The presence of that vampire in the same hospital where Harriet Jones was treated can't be a coincidence. I'm convinced he is deeply involved with the vampire plague going on in London right now. I'm also convinced Swansea is his accomplice. And that those two are planning something more terrifying than anything the guard has ever faced. Maybe I should take some time to read the old books and manuscripts the guard still possesses to get some answers. It may prove useful. In the meantime, I better send some patrols to investigate about what is occurring at the Pembroke Hospital. Well, dun 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 dun. It took me two days to parse through the dusty registers and books we keep in the vault. God, I hate losing time like this. The search did prove fruitful for once. I found two pages that could be related to our present situation in a copy of William Marshall's memoirs. I took them with me to read more carefully. This creature Marshall says he fought in 1666 took them with me, or sorry, fought in 1666, this disaster that aimed to destroy London. It is very similar to what happened with Doris Fletcher. Disease, infection, hate of the living, a desire to see the city ransacked. I have no doubt now that the bloody old leech of William Marshall is behind all this, and that he is back. This could be our greatest accomplishment, if the guard could at last find and destroy that old bastard. I believe what Marshall did in 1666 is exactly what Reed is trying to do. Did the creature, this disaster, escape their will? Why is Marshall, 
Why is it Marshall destroyed him in 1666 and Reed did the same with Doris Fletcher before she became such a creature? I don't know, but those two are clearly working together, and Swansea is helping them. I will immediately give orders to have him arrested and interrogated. As for Reed, I'll destroy that evil beast myself, and then we'll deal with William Marshall and the disaster thing. Prewin will prevail once more. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having ah. all the evidence. Why the fuck does that shit not just... God damn it. How many times did I run around here? I'm assuming this is it here. Yeah, of course it is. Just fine. Just read. Just luck. Oh, yeah. This is going to be bloody bullshit, isn't it? These guys should be nice to me anyway, because I actually defeated their leader. That looks like I should be able to do something with that. Shotgun shells, eh? Mm. It's locked, all right. Who be ye? You're resistant to shadow. What do I have on right now? Sorry, hang on. Let me get out of vampire mode. That's not the right button. Out of vampire mode. I got not shadow on. That's great. Okay. He's a big boy. say he probably hits very hard. Jonathan, the fuck kind of aim was that, my guy? Did that actually not hit him? The shotgun is not the best thing to use. I think we can agree. We should probably change back to my beautiful pistol. It's doing its best. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. He's he's quivering. He's so excited. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nothing. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> Hydrate. Oh, what did you leave me? Ah. Oh, oh, look at this. This door is beautiful. That is literally a glowing door. That is how we get out of here. Oh my god, what the fuck? It's locked, it's locked, locked, locked? alright. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna need to hydrate after this. <sighs> okay. Here we go. The Brotherhood of the St. Paul's Stole finally agreed to meet me in London. They proposed to meet inside the new cathedral of St. Paul. I like the wit and solemnity of these men. What a symbol. To choose the place where I defeated this disaster, but also the place where I fell. I agree to their proposition. There, in the sacred silence of the church and under the eye of God, they respectfully listened to me. They acknowledged my victory against this evil creature, the Dus Ostro, the eater of stars, who only wished to spread death and pestilence around her. All around her. Oh. Since they acknowledged my will to save London in 1666, they have heard my request, my burning desire to stop the blood of hate. Their primate promised to come back with... Promised... Their primate promised to come back to me with an answer. The primate of St. Paul wrote back to me with just a name, the Tear of Angels. According to him, this ancient artifact could heal anything, cleanse any blackened soul, and purify my blood. Blessed be the Lord. It took me more than a hundred years to find a cure for the blood of hate. But I may finally have found it. Soon the rage shall end. Soon I may repair the wrong I did and cleanse my failures. Now all I need to do is retrieve the necessary ingredients to create the artifact. Blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of a king. 
To find such rare ingredients is not what worries me the most, for time is on my side. It's the last part that worries me. Pure essence of garlic. I'm afraid it will literally hurt like hell when I drink the antidote. But if that's the price to pay to cleanse my soul and correct my mistakes, I am ready to endure this excruciating pain. Blood of a pure heart. Garlic. Blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Jonathan, love, he literally just told you what he was making. Evidence safe. Until further notice, the safe will be used to store sensitive evidences. It must always be locked. If you need to access it, just find me on the last floor to get the key and, you, and bloody remember to bring it back to me when you're done. Rodney! I should find the key to that Yeah, box. Rodney! Darling. Is that not glowing? That's what I thought. I'm a vampire knight. So William Marshall is not a bad boy. Oh my god. Carl Aubrey oh, leader. William Marshall, forget the legend about the man, the one most of you have never heard of, you lazy bastards. Forget the empty tomb in the temple church. Forget the death of those among us who died trying to locate him. We, the guard, know that he is still hiding somewhere. That's the only fact we must keep in mind. Another small detail we need to keep in mind, this little fucker is clever. How many times have we thought we had him cornered, only to find old dust and cobwebs? Marshall has been a vampire for a thousand years. We're no match until we change our plans concerning his hunt. So, here are a few questions for you lazy bastards, and I want all of them answered before speaking of another great hunt to pin the leech down. Who helped him escape his den under the temple church? We know now for a fact that a private contractor was paid to move a large coffin from the church a few years before we investigated the tomb. What exactly did the traitors of the Brotherhood of St. Paul discuss with Marshall when they met in 1785 in London? The report of this meeting has been burnt, but witnesses remain, on, remain of a request made by Marshall to access a specific book in their library. What does the monstrosity known as Lady Blackwood seem linked to Marshall? They exchanged letters. She went in London to meet him in 1786, according to the Brotherhood spies. She tried to discreetly buy his castle in Wales in 1793 before fleeing when spawned by our fearless mentor, Kendall Stone. See the pattern here? What happened during these few years? Why such agitation and activity? Answer these questions, my brothers, and you will find the path to our most eminent foe, William Marshall, oldest vampire of England to survive our righteous wrath. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Aldrich, Prewin Leader. I'm gonna fuck that guy up. Nah, he probably gonna fuck me up. Okay, I have another key. Where does this key go? Not that door? Okay. I thought that was the door that I needed to get into. It's not this door either. Is it this door? Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really Kind you? of. Just with the old fucking hacksaw there. Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, why does that not sound like it's going to be super easy? Try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Not Nedwin. Black and blue. Jeffrey McCullum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. It's Joffrey. Talked about this, Jonathan. Responsible for the skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. Sure, that was the wisest course of action. Time will tell. 
The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the poor. Shouldn't we be getting him to like a hospital? William Marshall. Yes, they. Oh yeah, no, sleepless. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I appreciate it. I hope everything gets better. Are you hiding something? I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. Do you know him? You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. I'm your friend. I'm going to make you talk anyway. What can you tell me <laughs> about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story. He was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is Prynwen so obsessed with him? Why is the guard of Prynwen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why such a reputation? Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. Maybe we need to pay a visit to Usher. All I know is that he is supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. Okay. Anyway, next round. Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. You do have some explaining to do. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all. Do you remember Harriet Jones? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. A terrible episode. It got so much worse. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter. Full of hatred and festering anger. Which leads me to my next point. Doris Fletcher's real name? Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say? Why didn't you tell me everything? That she got infected at the Doris Pembroke. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the Medwin. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have? Somebody was experimenting. Don't you see the pattern? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic, the link between Doris and Harriet, the suspicion of McCullum. How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled. Are you lying to me? Do you know where we are? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. Theater? This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. It's not rabies, rabies you motherfucker. And rabies is not the devil at work. There isn't a coincidence, though, my guy. You gotta open up your eyes, expand your mind. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. 
Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear, I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan. Whose no vampire blood was this? You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet <gasps> Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbridge. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. Right, I admit it. I boldly ventured into experimental Yeah, you probably should have. Jonathan's gonna have a fucking no meltdown. One to my thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. I'm no murderer. I never asked to become what I am, Edgar. You chose to conduct your rogue experiments. You have worked beside me. Eh, you saw I'm what kind I'm of not at really at the Hospital. Pembroke, though. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. What? Let die. What? Oh my god, what do I do? I'll make your death quicker. I can't kill. If I kill... Killing is bad. You don't want to kill. I'm not going to repeat. I know now. Don't kill. If you kill, kill bad. Kill bad. No good. Only kill the losers that deserve it. Like that racist landlord. If I let die... Kind of what I did with uh, the other guy. I don't do anything bad. I'm a good boy. That's nature taking its course. If I turn him, I don't even think I've got the 3,000 XP in the first place. But is that good to turn him? Um, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him because if you kill, kill bad. Sorry, Dorothy. Oh, man. So it's either let him die or turn him. And then on that note, you guys tell me what you think we should do. Make a case for me. Homework. I have to pee. Sorry. I have to go pee. But let me know what you guys want me to do. That <laughs> turn. It's already decided.
Okay, sorry. Um, Roman followed me and, and he wanted some love. And I gotta fix this. Okay, so Mr. Robus. <laughs> Basically, you think we should turn him. But do you think it's okay to do that considering he's basically responsible for everything? I don't want to be responsible for killing him. I just don't know if we have the 3000 XP. I don't think we do. But you have spoken. You have spoken. No, Edgar. You are not going to die. Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? Well... After all I've done, after all that's yeah. been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. But it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well. Interesting. Okay. So, he basically created the epidemic in London. Prepare to die and be evil. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. He's not ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. I'll put you down if you fuck up. I will put you down. I'm going to put you down. Enough! Lady Ashbury's gonna hate me. We must have had enough XP, thankfully. The dying Swansea. Patient zero. Uh-oh. I have 170 XP, so we must have just had enough. Oh, thank God. Old love letter. My most exquisite friend. This was on the 12th of May of 1912. Everything is now ready for our journey to France. We'll leave from Dover on the 17th and we will spend the whole summer in Paris. I can't wait to taste all of the delicate flavors that wonderful city has to offer. And I can't wait to try them all with you. Music, food, theater, architecture, perfumes, fashion, and you. Oh, what a delight it will be. I already wrote some good, uh, I already wrote to some of my good artist friends who will be as delighted as me to see you on stage in French theater. Edmund uh, Rostand should be there. I know you like his work very much, and I count on him to introduce us to the magnificent Sarah Bernhard. That would be the greatest achievement of this journey. I can't wait to hold you again in my arms, my sweetest delight, and drink again the source of your divine talent. You're devoted, Calhoun. Calhoun? Don't make me fucking regret this choice, asshole. I kind of already regret it, because apparently I can't even do anything. <laughs> well, we're going to see if that... Uh, he's the pillar of the Pembroke, though, so if we kill him or let him die, the Pembroke suffers immensely. Like, it's kind of like how Dorothy is. So, like, basically, where's uh, Whitechapel? So basically, uh, because she is gone, I can never, ever get the, like, the district past Sirius because I killed her by accident. The only reason why Sean is, I turned him, um, was because he's now purified, I guess, in the sense. He was infected and was going to become a skull. And I caught him eating fucking flesh like Hannibal Lecter. All he was missing was a nice Chianti. We already have 370 points, so we're doing great. We're doing so great. Um, I can't get up that way. Well, let's see if we did the right choice. Hopefully we made good on our promise. We did good. I don't even know where the fuck I am right now. Right, I know where I am right now. All of you are... Oh, the safe key. Did we get the safe? Where's the safe key? Shoot. 
I should probably make sure. He said he was on the last level, right? Something like that? Oh, is that locked now? Can I not go in? Should be a little... It's locked. But he said it was on the last level. Sorry, I'm back. Hi, I'm looking for a key, actually. Oh. Keys, keys, and keys. He's healthy. <laughs> he is healthy. No keys, huh? Keys? He said it was on the last level. Things are making noises. I'm not really sure. Oh, well. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, well. We tried our best. Hopefully, we made the right choice. I'm just really glad we had enough uh, XP to actually, like, cover that cost. That was, that was big. I think Sean was only, like, 1,500 or something like that. So, I'm super glad we had that. We can do that. That's really good. Let's see if he's a good boy. Let's see if he's a good boy. I read rats as red blood. <laughs> That's why I reset all my progress, guys, because I am dumb. Do you know what else I also want to try? I want to try and get the other ultimate, uh, the rage of hall, because I also have rage inside. I also have the rage inside. We have to be coming close to the end of this game now, right? We found the source of the contagion. It was fucking Edgar. I get so worried when the game just silently stops. I'm just gonna put it down here. Put her down here. There we go. Very good. Okay. And good. I don't have anything lined up, actually, Mr. Robus. I have nothing yet. I was kind of perusing the old, uh, the old, um, PlayStation. There's a game coming out, uh, for Spook So Harriet Tober Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave that I really want to play. I must tell Elizabeth. Why are you back? The fuck are you back? Oh, can I? I don't have time for this. Um, he probably will. I'm safe in here. I'm not safe in here. I'm safe in here. Start another fucking loading screen. Yeah, it's basically about... Um, a Japanese priestess that was charged with watching her shrine as the priest, I think, is just out and she accidentally unleashes some, like, demons. And I'm like, ooh, that sounds great. I'm toying with the idea of also playing Outlast because I know that game is fucked up. I'm planning for Spooktober. You know it's my fa It's two months away. It's my most favoritist game in the world. I am also toying with the idea of maybe doing Village again. That was, who doesn't want to see more of Lady D? That shit is great. Love Lady D. Um, honey, I'm home and you would not believe the motherfucking day I've had. I always go here, but I know she's upstairs.
I also don't know where she is, but she's somewhere. Hey, dollface. What good fortune brings you back to Bad me, Bad news. Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, the worst. actually. Please, speak up. <laughs> I've got some news. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is I know about last Halloween, now? right? I love it. Is he mm. Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail Spooky. to understand. Spooky times are upon us. It's my favorite. The Basically, when Starbucks released pumpkin spice, I'm like, Edgar it's time. Edgar responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible Your face really doesn't betray any hint of emotion, my darling. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? <laughs> he was stupid. He was a criminal. Um. He was stupid. Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy. He had neither the discipline, knowledge, nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Yeah. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an icon. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth. Are you all right? No, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear, I never was your... Wait, wait, what? No! Elizabeth! Well, that... I think we just broke up. Ah, oh, man. Look who I get to visit. Well, fuck me, fam. Ooh. I thought I had finished looting her. It's ah. locked, all right. That's because I, I actually was finished looting her. There was nothing I could do. Okay, so who do we deal with first? I say we take a nap. Because there's not really much I can do except maybe get my districts where they need to be. Especially the fucking other, especially that one. Okay, first things first, let's trigger the fucking loading scene again. Yeah, what do you, like, what do you think? Because the, the problem is, like, I don't think there's a lot of really good spooky games on, um, like, I feel like all the good spooky games are on Steam. But yeah, I also need to think of something to play in the interim because I really don't have anything now. Unfortunately. I would really also like to play Eternal Darkness. That game was so fucked up, but I loved it. But uh, unfortunately, my parents' dog, when she was but a wee puppy, she ate the disc and it was a GameCube game. So that's one game I wish that someone would take the time to just like redevelop. It has such an interesting concept. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, I know it's pretty serious, eh? Okay. Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. Fuck, well, I... So here is... Oh, boy. Yep. Welp. It's like, where do you go first? Do you go to the hospital? Do you go... Like, we're, we're basically dead center right now. Okay. Oh, why is he back? He's level 34. Excuse me. I actually can't. Thank you. That's all I was trying to do. Can I leave? Doors. Doors. How do they work? Ah. Time to go. Me too. I don't feel like I know anything. I'm gonna take a snooze. <laughs> I'm gonna take a rest. I'm gonna take a rest right here. And um, I guess we will deal with the stupidest part of this. So does that mean that McCallum is gonna be nice to us now because I saved his dumb ass? Whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall? Lord Redgrave will have to speak. Yeah, except that we fucked up a little bit. We done fucked up just a wee bit. Yeah. We also have no, um... We also have no XP, so I have to go in here with putting my best foot forward. We all know how that tends to turn out. Okay, so we're doing good for these. I've got a bonus one and a bonus one. Makes more fatigue. Okay, can I... Oh, hang on. Sorry, I just saw that. A dose of insulin. <laughs> of course. Thank God for that. Okay, let's take a rest. I'm going to take a rest right here. There's literally nothing I can do, I think. I have nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to... Confirm. The inhabitants of London live in fear of physicians, delayed interventions, barefaced favoritism, and strange experimental treatments. The scarcity of professionalism is crystallized in Pembroke Hospital, Whitechapel, where denatology was discharged a long time ago. The Pembroke administration hides behind a facade of dedication and rectitude, but those of us who know any of their patients or worse were among them are aware of their deceit. In this temple devoted to dread, you will have to pay to get a bed. You will catch illness you never knew existed, and your corpse will be relieved of its possessions in the morgue. <laughs> that is true. Here, patients die overnight of wounds they never bore upon their arrival, and they call them accidents. I briefly interviewed Dr. Swansea, head of administration, declaimed a pedantic temor mortis contrabat me. Fear of death confounds me before forcing us out of the establishment. Quotes in Latin will not be enough to keep us away from their morbidity. Volunteers are welcome to join me tomorrow morning in front of the hospital to demand clear facts about the state of this medical institution. Come in numbers. Stay the same. Stay the same. Stay the motherfucking same. That's what I love to see. <laughs> that is what I love to see. So we're good. If only I didn't kill you, Dorothy. I am so sorry it came to that. 
so he's still here, but I failed miserably with him. I got locked out of two hints because I didn't do something. Motherfucking healthy hose. I've got nothing. Anyway. I'm ready for a fight. Mother, if I don't come back, know that I always loved you. Okay, so I need to talk to Redgrave. Does that mean I have to fight him? That's gonna fucking suck if I do. Uh, it's actually back... Sorry. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. You are not welcome. I have a... I have a favor? Let me in? Yeah, where is Redgrave? Why is this becoming such a fucking hassle? Let me in, goddamn you. Louise, sweet pea, I have a question and a favor to ask of you. Clarence, favor to ask. How the fuck do I get in here? Hello? I love how he's still polite enough to call me sir. That's so nice. Where is Redgrave? Louise coming in with the tea. I love it's very stern. So, you are not welcome here. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I remember what I need to do very quickly. Hang on a second. Just gotta double back a bit. I need to see my friend in the shop. Yeah, don't worry, I'm right in. It has been such a long time since I last went to the. Really? I wonder why. Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great what? night, what? Calhoun, tell yes. me about your relationship with Doris Fletcher. Oh, Doris. Cold fire and burning ice trapped in a perfect body. Our passion was as intense as it was brief. What an actress. How did you meet her? How did you meet her? On a boat to France before the war. She was thinking about a career in Paris, and I was eager to try French mm -hmm. gastronomy. We both returned. <laughs> I expect you've seen her on stage, too. She really is the best actress of her generation. Such yeah, frailty she was something else. such strength at the same time. I hope she'll play again soon. She's been away for two She long. is dead. You sound surprisingly sad. Have you regrets? I think of her as a divine dish. I'm glad I was able to taste it. Ooh. But I regret I could only get a bite of her mystery. You really loved her then? She fascinated me, Dr. Reed. I can't imagine what she must have endured through her life to reach such a level of emotion. Oh so my god, you have no idea. That is it then, is it not? Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. It's crazy. Okay. Anyway, um, I need to get into this stupid building. But I don't know how to do it. I'm assuming it's all part of the building here, right? Maybe not. Maybe. Are there bad people here? Not yet. Oh, come on. This looks promising. So you forget to lock the back door? Oh, Jesus. Sorry. That's just me. This is gonna be fun in here, I think. This is gonna be really fun in here. It's not gonna be fun in here. There's vampires in here. I'm a vampire, and I got kicked out of the club. Uh-huh. 
There's not that much to load in here. I, I will say that. I might die in here. There were a lot of vampires. I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise. Jonathan, what the fuck does that mean? There's just so much goddamn blood here. I actually hate this. And also, why have you fuckers not cleaned up the bodies in here? Y'all are disgusting pigs. Oh, he's resistant to blood. That's great. We'll just uh, flip over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> gotta be swift. Gotta be fast. This guy is so fucking strong. Oh, fuck, I got stuck. He's really, really strong. You're feeble. He's very strong, guys. He's very strong. It was killing time. Oh, got stuck on the body. You having fun yet? You guys getting dizzy? I'm also getting dizzy. I was gonna say, I got fucked up. That was my fault. There's too much goddamn fucking furniture in here. You guys fucking suck ass. Okay, please. Jesus. Love when we just don't aim properly, you know what I'm saying? Don't you know better? Stupid new boy. Be rude. Jesus. This guy is like refusing to this go down. It's actually fascinating to be honest. A 
That's the problem with these stupid vampires. They heal themselves. I just need to, like, get him. You know what I'm saying? I just need to get him. What's there? There we go. There we go. He's not dying. Fucking shit, my guy. There we go. Thank you. Oh. Can we talk? Maybe? Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end yeah, to this you epidemic. Want? But I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far. But the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? I just need a drop. I'm not asking for the whole fucking thing. My maker profited to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is the city's last hope. I won't call this you out for your lies. This is more important than the club, you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I could say you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. Wow. That was easier than I thought. I'm still kind of pissed that this basement doesn't go this way. It actually goes this way. I'm still kind of pissed that this basement is just a basement. There's nothing else down here. Why is there nothing else down here? There's a door, but I can't get into the door. This has been more disappointing than finding out that uh, Lord Redgrave was a fucking liar. Goddamn fucking liar. Anyway, are your uh, stupid idiots going to attack me? Probably. I'll show myself out. Can I use this door? I'm going to use this door. And start the loading scene. Just get comfortable here. Ms. Robes, how was your Sunday today? How's work? Are you at work? See, when you ask nicely, people are more willing to give stuff to you. I ask nicely. It was very nice. Oh, oh God. I'm also really disappointed that we have to go back to the morgue. It's very sad. I don't want to do that. Almost there, I'm sure, maybe. Mm hmm. There we go. Very good. Okay, so I asked nicely. It's always been your house, Dad. Not mine. Support the equality between 
Already there, babe. I really want to get more hints for Venus because I want to know what she's doing. You know? I want to figure out their marriage. I want to help them get their marriage sorted out. It's irredeemable, though. Clarence is never going to give up his quest. Why is he back? There we go. Excuse me for a moment. I can't fucking move. What is this? I can't fucking move. There we go. Fucking fuck. This is absolute fucking horseshit. Look at the fucking standing in there like a goddamn asshole. Hang on. Don't be rude, guys. Please. Did I, did I take the wrong... I do. I always do this. I take the wrong fucking way. Okay. Is it this way? Straight through? Yes. Stop. Okay, hang on. It's a leech! Kill it! A leech! A leech! Love when that fucking happens. I need some blood. There we go. <laughs> I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage. Where is that? There. <laughs> That's okay, I actually, I need to find insulin. Okay, so what I actually want to do is I want to talk to my buddy, Edgar. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, Rakesh, you pilfering bastard. It is quite disgusting here. I mean, I feel you. There's Thelma doing what she loves. Okay, let's talk to the boss. See what the boss has to say now that we've turned him. <laughs> is he back? There he is. Jonathan, my dear. I can never thank you enough. Thank me? For what? Come now, you know what I mean. Um, I feel like... I am. <laughs> well, I feel like he doesn't really I'm care about... Like you. Have you really no shame? Have you no shame? Must I remind you of your ludicrous actions? Yeah. Of the innocent men and women who died at your hands? Shame is for mortals, Jonathan. I know it now, and you should too. We are something else. Oh, God. Something more. How do you feel, you dipshit? How do you feel since you changed? Absolutely fine. Did you know I can determine the health of every patient or nurse just by looking at him? Fascinating. Have you taken a life already? Have you taken a life yet, Edgar? Don't you think that's a private matter? I would not ask you such an indiscreet question. Do you... Um, so I actually haven't killed anybody. I killed one person. Yes. It's very peculiar. Not like mortal hunger at all. It's like I'm never sated. Fortunately, blood is no rare commodity at Pembroke. <laughs> okay. He's creepy. Have you news of Geoffrey McCollum? 
I'm sure both of you would have quite an interesting discussion after recent events. He left the hospital without being treated for the severe beating oh, you gave him. We'll meet again soon enough. Do you not think he will kill you where you stand? Funny you should mention it. I asked him once what he would do if I were a vampire. He said he would give me an hour for old times sake. <laughs> oh god, have you a plan? What will you do now that you are immortal? Experiment, my dear colleague. I have an eternity to make scientific progress. I could be the only scientist able to undertake extreme experiments upon himself. Have you really learned nothing at all? Oh my god, Edgar. <laughs> Did you learn nothing from your forays into folly? I have, I swear. No more experiments on mortals. See? I said mortals. <laughs> How quickly the mind adapts. Oh my god. What kind of experiments? Who knows? Nervous shock, brain damage, pain and recovery. There's almost no limit to what my body can now endure. I could be the next Henry Head. Oh my god. Will you continue as Pembroke's administrator? Of course. I can help more than ever. And since I'm already dead, I can't get <laughs> sick. Oh my god. Are you not afraid Prewin will find you? Next time they will do more it's true. than abduct and torture you. I remain a man of peace. If things were to go awry, I would flee rather than slice them up as you would, my friend. <laughs> Have you seen Elizabeth? Has she passed this way since you returned? No. And I'm terrified to see her. Yeah, you should be. I really am, Jonathan. She could very well tear me she to should. pieces for what I did. She fucking should. Goodbye, Edgar. I'm certain we'll meet again. You got any insulin in here? <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, at least I know he's not a fighter, so if I have to put him down, it should be relatively easy, right? Right? He is super creepy now. Like, he's really creepy. Like, really creepy. Um, You know what I'm going to do actually really fast? Whilst I'm up on the secondary level. I really want to get in there. Like, really fast. I'm going to make some blood. Sure. Everybody's out here getting stronger, and I'm just out here plateauing. Okay, so to the Molog. Also, we never really did have a chat about those ultraviolet ray lights that you decided to install on the roof and then let some idiot get a hold of all the shit, my good man. We didn't ever talk about that. Oh god. Okay. Oh Rakesh. You bastard. Okay, so the morgue is not here, that's the hospital. The morgue's over here, yeah. Oh, hang on, here's another loading screen. Ah, <sighs> so, um, Mr. Rubis, what do you think? Did we did we make the right choice with Nedwin, aka Edgar? He's super creepy now. time to call it soon guys I'll just get this done and then we just have to head upwards to
Why are they in here? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> uh. Hmm. Maybe this will wait for tomorrow. That's a lot of dudes to fight. A lot of very strong dudes to fight. What are they doing in the morgue anyway? You know what I mean? Like, why are they here? Also, why is McCallum not told them to fuck right off? Die, I can't, I can't even fuck, I don't even know where the fuck I am. Jesus, fuck. Yeah. Get me. You're fucking firing through. You just fucking like slapped me. Oh god. Lord. You know it's going to be on the fucking lower level, right? We know this. It's gonna be up a level? What? It's in the other room, guys. The one that has all the monsters in it. Of course it is. Oh god, it's one of them chapel dudes. Please, sir, can't let you through. Sorry. There's three of them in the room. What the hell is going on in here? Do we hear the noises? I don't think that's the radiators. That last bullet's for me. in here somewhere along with my patients the chaplains are honestly the worst Best of course I'm so sorry
So, you guys aren't doing a really good job. You've got a fucking scowl upstairs. You thought about that? Okay, I need to think of a plan. I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. I gotta sneeze. Oh my god. See, these guys are resistant to my special attacks. Best be moving on. Get the Well, this is a little terrible, you see. I can't find myself. There it is, insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu. Welp. I may have done worse. Fuck alone. That's not the guy I wanted to grab. The fuck do I get out of here? I can't get out. This is absolutely god fucking awful. Why do I need to fight them? Why the fuck can't you fucking aim properly, you dipshit? Get out of my fucking way, oh my goddamn. I fucking hate this game. The targeting system fucking sucks. There we go. I just want to fucking leave. I can see the door. It's right there. I just got to get these idiots away from me. believe they make you fight this. Like, why? Away with you. Stop. 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 I can't even find my fucking self in here. There we go. 
I don't like targeting anybody because I can't even fucking see anybody. I'm trying to get back to the shadows, but you guys won't fucking let me get back to the uh, the fucking shadows. Good day. Enjoy your scowl. He's upstairs. Go find him.